Hey guys, welcome to Bass Kicking Outdoors. Um, I do not know what I'm about to do. I'm gonna go fishing, but I don't know what I'm gonna put on put on for the bait. But we're gonna get out there. I got like 30 minutes for uh, going to a movie with the kids, so I'm going to uh, see what I can produce here in 30 minutes. So let's see you out in the water. Alright guys, we are going to throw on the Guggenbaits Crack and Crawl Watermelon Red Flake. Alright, there it is guys, there it is, let's see what we can go do. Alright guys, time checks, 214, let's see what we can do. We went Texas rig style. Just gonna twitch it, let it settle. Got one. All right. Number one, guys. Huh. I'll get this out of you if you calm down. Got him. All right. All right, there you go, guys. There you go, guys. Number one on that cracking crawl.
Got him pretty close to the bank. Probably that one I seen playing there a second ago. at it. Man, been doing pretty good with crawls here lately. Doing a Texas rig, it's been pretty good. I'm excited. Next week, guys, we got Monster Bass Box coming in. I just got my Mystery Tackle Box. I got the Elite version. We're going to do a comparison video between the Elite and the monster bass box and then we'll do a I don't know box box competition with it as well Calm day out today. Here we go. Number two. Number two on that crack and crawl, guys. Yeah, it might be a little bit bigger one. Not huge, but so much fun right there. Can't beat two o'clock in the afternoon fish right there. Go for number three here guys so what do you guys think of the Guggen baits what do you guys think of the crack and crawl you know there is a debate going around right now maybe it's been going around but off brand baits name brand baits what's what now I've fallen the Guggen squad for a while and I think they've come out with some good baits I've caught 100 plus fish this year on a Guggen bait. Now I've used some strike cream craws last week, catching them. I mean, if they catch fish, what more can you ask for? Now you're gonna want quality, you're gonna want how long do they last. And uh, I mean, I caught two fish on this one. I am seeing Maybe a break down here. See how that's split? So I might get one more fish out of this one. But I mean, I think all depends on the fish you catch, you know? All depends, I mean, that's, that's a variable that's very hard to determine. 
There we go. Oh, dang it, guys. Lost him. Came loose. Came loose. But man, had that thing all crazied up. Let's see if we can't get that guy to munch again. I think the bait fell off. Well, yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and grab another one. This one's toast. See, I'm not upset about that. I caught two fish. I'm happy with it. There we go, guys. Let's see what we can do with this one. See if we can't land fish number three here. There it is. I don't know if that guy's small. Or what? There's something out there hitting it. There we go. There we go. Number three, guys. All right, number three, guys. They are liking the crawl today. Put him back. All right, so either I found the pattern of what they want or where they are. Let's keep throwing in this spot. It's the second one out of the same spot, really. Kind of as this bank goes down right here, probably got a rock ledge. They're probably hanging out right there. So let's see what we can do. There we go. Number four. <laughs> Man. Number four, guys. That's awesome. They are working out well today. I'm four. Now, I am trying this monster bass tournament on eye catch. And we can see if we could get this one on there. Not been able to get eye catch to work very well lately. But let's see what we can do. At a catch. Large mouth bass. It's 
get a quick measurement on this guy. Calm down, buddy. All right, I got the picture. Let's get him back in the water. All right, guys, so that was number four. Um, All right, guys, so that was number four. Um, yeah, Monster Bass is doing a tournament on iCatch. Um, like I said, I've had some troubles with the app, and it uh, takes forever to get the picture taken, but um, if you want to try it out, guys, check out the iCatch app. Monster Bass is putting on a tournament on there. I think it goes through the end of July. You just do your measurements on it. And They do, or they're doing it by region because they have, I believe, five different regions for their boxes. Let's see if we can't find some more. Got four though. I've gotten two right out here. I've gotten two off to my left. There we go. Number five. Number five. Number five, guys. Haven't been measuring all these because, well, some of them are pretty small, but not too bad. Number five. Let's move down this bank. Time check at 2.41. I need to go in pretty soon. Number six. Number six. Right there, guys. Number six. He munched that right when it went in. I got one. <laughs> Went from that rock onto a fish. Got a little spunk guy. Here we go, guys. Number seven. I'll take that any day. Mm. 
nothing. All right, guys. Let's pack it in. Go get ready for our next adventure. Taking kids to the movies. All right, guys. Thank you for watching this video. And I had so much fun out there. I caught about, I don't know, seven fish. And, uh, man, it was a blast. I did it in about probably 45 minutes. And I uh, probably caught them in 30 minutes. The last 15 minutes, I couldn't catch much. But, guys, thank you for watching. I always say that, and then I always say that I always say that. Because I mean it. Thank you for watching Bass Kicking Outdoors. And thank you for subscribing. Please hit that like button. Please hit that subscribe button if you've not. And uh, I'll catch you guys next time.